family members and activists against a GBV and femicide have dubbed Nantlam Twa's tra a tragic story, a travesty of justice. She was shot nine times outside a Mtata home in April. Police say uh, still haven't made any arrests and Police Minister Becky Kele had to remove the lead investigator due to death threats. ENCA's Ronald Masinda tells us more. Images of Nam Tlam Twa's broken body went viral on social media after her death. It's believed a family member posted them while alleging Twa's injuries were inflicted by her boyfriend. This led many to believe that police had enough evidence to make an arrest. But there's been no closure for her devastated family. They've yet to see a single arrest seven months after the 34-year-old was murdered. We've lost hope. As a family, we've lost hope. That's what I can tell you. The case was dealt a heavy blow after Police Minister Becky Kele removed its lead investigator following death threats against her. It's more difficult than one, than one thought. Uh, we send a very uh, senior police to come and investigate uh, a brigadier from Limbombo. We had to protect her, we have to ship her out uh, because there were threats on her life. One activist says this case is a symptom of a much larger problem. It's now drawing parallels with that case and other cases of femicide and GBV. We've had similar incidents. It has taken a very long time for the police to conduct investigations for police to follow up on leads, for police to even track the DNA evidence that is left behind. The second presidential summit on gender-based violence and femicide draws to a close in Johannesburg on Wednesday. Ntoa's case has been used as an example of just how far the country has to go in bringing justice to victims and their families. Ronald Masinda, East London.